In Hell of a Boss, we get a glimpse of heaven, with the Cherub commercial being shot in Cherub Town. In Hasbin Hotel, we see just a little bit more of heaven when Charlie's being escorted by the Seraphim and discusses whether or not a sinner can be redeemed. This makes me wonder, if there are seven rings in hell, does heaven have them as well? According to various texts, there's actually more than one heaven. Now since the show is based around the Abrahamic religions, I will be discussing heaven in Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. In Christianity, there are three heavens, the first being the Earth's atmosphere where birds and clouds dwell, the second being the universe, and the third being the home of God, angels, and Christian souls, which is outside the galaxy, I guess. All in all, not much information is given about these three heavens. In Judaism, heaven is broken up into seven layers. I'm sorry, so sorry. Velen, meaning curtain, fails the other six layers and is the abode of Adam and Eve. Rakia is translated to Pharamid, which is defined as the vault or arch of the sky where judgment takes place. Shahakin refers to the sky or clouds. It is where the Garden of Eden is located and a mill producing mana or food for the righteous. Sibol, meaning habitation, is the stratosphere, the sun, and the moon. Mawan, or refuge, is where ministering angels sing at night so I couldn't find its exact location. This makes me think that this is the beginning of heaven outside of the galaxies. Makan, established place, is home of the angels who give rain, storms, and snow to the earth. Aravat, or deserts, is the abode of seraphim, cherubs, righteous souls, and the souls of the unborn. In Islam, there are over 100 levels of heaven. Though nearly every side I went on only to discuss a seven, thank Lucifer. Fuck, I'm gonna butcher these. Janet Aradon is where repentant souls go to the eternal place with flowing rivers and great gardens. Janet al Firdos is the most sought after paradise for its fruitful garden of all kinds of plants. And being the highest place of Jana, Shanet Anaim is an iron heaven where devotees could live in wealth. Shanet al Mawa is a refuge made of brass made for those who have been martyred in life. Darukul is called a garden of immortality to compensate the hardship of one's devotion to God. Dar ul Makom is where weariness doesn't exist. Dar es Salaam is home of the souls who walk the straight path where evil talk doesn't belong. Now before I give my opinion on which heaven is canonical to Hasbin Hotel, I want to discuss Dante's Paradiso. In Hell of a Boss, the rings of hell are named after the rings of purgatory in Dante's Divine Comedy, specifically in Purgatorio, so I felt it wouldn't be fair if we didn't look into Dante version of heaven. Let me just say right off the back that I highly doubt that this is the heaven that we're going to see in Hasbun Hotel, mainly because they're all planets. Although, I believe the path of redemption lies within the story. First we have Dante goes through the rings of hell, then in purgatory, then he goes through heaven. In the eighth sphere, he meets Peter, James, and John, who test him on faith, hope, and love. He passes each of these tests and is then taken up to the last sphere where he sees God and his angels. Though so afterwards, he meets the soul of Adam. Dante asks him a bunch of questions as to how long he had been in heaven, considering he had disobeyed God by eating the fruit from the tree of knowledge. It's here that Adam tells him that his fault wasn't eating the forbidden fruits, but trespassing the boundary placed by God. Yeah. When he died, his soul was kept in limbo for over 4,000 years until Christ freed him. Now, if you've seen my video on how Adam was able to get to heaven, you'll know how heaven was kept from human souls until Jesus went to Sheol and freed everyone. By the looks of it, it doesn't seem that Adam was ever tested like Dante was. I have a theory that Adam was so bitter about being in limbo for so long that he blackmailed Sarah into letting him get his yearly vengeance on Lucifer's people so that none of the new souls would figure out heaven's dark past. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, which religion has the canonical heaven? Keep in mind, this is just an opinion. In my opinion, it is the Christian heaven. The reason I say that is because of Revelation. Here, John has visions from God of the apocalypse where Satan, as a dragon, goes to war with heaven. In Rev 17, John sees a woman arrayed in purple and scarlet and adorned with gold, jewels, and pearls. This woman was penned as the whore of Babylon and possibly the inspiration behind Lilith's design. Also, Rev 13 talks about a dragon, different from Satan, with horns of a lamb just like Razzle and Dazzle in their demonic form. But you know, I could be wrong, and heaven isn't based off of one certain religion. But I spent a lot of time and energy on this. So back off!
Of all the mysteries surrounding Hasbin Hotel, the ins and outs of heaven are most intriguing. Next to whatever Alistair's motives are. Hope you enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, and I'll ring it back to you. Hello. Hello. Hello.